are here today, and I'm really happy to be here, in Nashville at Ellington Agricultural Experiment Station with Debbie Joins, who is the manager of the, say it for me? Soil, Plant, and Pest Center. All right, this is where you come. This is the UT Extension place where if you've got a problem with anything and you send it into the UT Extension, it comes to her, her outfit, and they check it out. And she is the pH queen. We are going to talk about what it is and why pH is so important mm -hmm. in gardening. And people know that it is, but they don't quite know why. And maybe mm -hmm. you can explain that. Well, essentially, the, the, the importance of pH comes with availability of plant nutrients. So you can fertilize or you can add compost and so forth, but if the pH is not correct in your soil, the availability of those nutrients to your plants will not be there. So what we like is a slightly acidic soil, uh, around 6.5 pH, mm -hmm. uh, with seven being basic, 7.0. It goes from zero to 14, right. theoretically, yes. right? But there's no, where's a zero and where's a 14? Yeah, I mean, it's that way. Yeah, yeah, the moon, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right, but, but 6.5 is what we're after. And our, our soil test uh, recommendations are that we recommend lime if the pH drops to 6.0 or below. And the reason being, once that pH gets down in the low fives or mid fives, the primary plant nutrients that the plants really like in great amounts mm -hmm. become unavailable to the plant. Now there is an exception though, a group of plants that likes it, oh, that yeah. acid, right? Yep, we've got uh, we've got azaleas, rhododendrons, right. blueberries like an mm -hmm. acidic pH. They're really, all members of the same big family. That's right. Yeah. They like a pH down around four eight to five two. Right. Um, there is some talk that some potatoes like a little bit acidic soil, not down in the low fives, no. but less than six. Well, I know growing potatoes on very alkaline soil, you get all kinds of problems. Yeah, and, sometimes and, you can yeah. run into disease problems right. and so forth. So. So, Scab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, so, so that pH is very important. Uh, we recommend lime only if that pH does drop down below that certain level. Let's talk a little bit about lime because I know liming is one of those time-honored things mm -hmm. that people do. And up north where people lime religiously in right. the spring and people move down here mm -hmm. and just assume they have to trot the lime out in uh -huh. the spring. You're saying not so much? Yeah. Don't, don't do that. Only lime if you have a soil test. Okay. And number two is, is, is usually when you lime, you can lime any time of the year. Mm -hmm. Be aware of wood ashes. I do a lot of tests for folks that apply wood ashes on their gardens. Right, from their fireplace, right. I did it myself sure. and I started having problems and I thought, okay, Deb, you need to pull a soil test. And I did and my pH was up too high. It was up almost eight. Oh my gosh. And, and so I had to apply sulfur to lower okay. that pH back down. So the, the thing is, in the south, you hear, you know, it's azalea country and you can, it's an acid soil. But what you're saying is here in Tennessee, from the mountains to the Mississippi, mm -hmm. not necessarily. Yeah. It's highly variable. Okay. The only way you know for sure is by soil test. And tell me what we're looking at here. These are some soil samples that were sent to us this week. The, look at the range in color. This, uh -huh. They're it, all different colors. The great thing about these soil samples is the folks uh, uh, send in plenty. We, we do l need a full back box of soil and the reason being is that we recommend a six inch sample and I that's see. a sample taken from the top through the six inch depth and if you just take one sample it's not going to fill up that box. I'm a homeowner I've got maybe a bunch of beds scattered around that I've put in. Mm -hmm. You know just different beds. This isn't one big one big area, do I need to take a sample from each one separately or how do I deal with that? Well, typically what I recommend is that if they've all been treated the same, mm -hmm. you can take a sample out of each one or mm -hmm. several samples depending on how big they are and mix those all together and test it as and one sample. Treat it as one, yeah. okay. But if they are from a great big area, say mm -hmm. you've got a bed on uh, two acres away and one, you know, if you've got a great big place and you've treated some different or added compost to one and maybe not to another. Okay you could test those separately. Right, because that organic matter yeah. might change things. I would because I'd be curious to know. Okay, yeah, and, okay. And there probably will be some difference in the availability and maybe the pH too. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
if you've got a, a two, three thousand square foot garden, then you need you need several samples and mix those together. Because the pH can vary across exactly. that span. Mm -hmm. exactly. And where do you, these boxes come from? You can get those boxes from your local extension office. We okay. have an office in every county in the state, and you can pick up those boxes there. And we just take it, send yep. it in. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Send it in. You do what with these? You grind it up and... Yep, we grind. First of all, they're dried. Mm -hmm. And I don't recommend our uh, viewers to dry them at home because right. you can affect the results by okay. drying them inaccurately. Just dig it up and send it as you dig if it. If it's the way terribly it wet, put it out on a paper plate. Okay. Let it dry overnight. You send the samples to us and then we do grind those up into finer particles so that we can measure them out right. and do a good job right. uh, scientifically on, on the test. And then you test it and you run all the specs and what does the consumer get, what does the person get they back? Get, they get a, a report back that has all the uh, uh, the recommendations, the lime recommendations mm -hmm. and fertilizer recommendations. They can use those either organic or inorganically, whatever they want. Great. Um, and, and we'll tell them how much to apply in 1,000 square feet. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, so now, just as an example, I mean, everybody, especially around Nashville, people try to grow uh, azaleas, for example, mm -hmm. and often yep. have run into difficulty chlorosis, which is where the leaves get yellow and the veins may still be green, but the plant just looks kind of sickly and then the lace bugs eat it. Mm -hmm. That chlorosis is what? Essentially, it is a deficiency that's caused by high pH. There you go. Notoriously, we see uh, samples in here from homeowners who have azaleas mm -hmm. dying. They've planted them. They've died. They've planted them. They died again. <laughs> yeah. And then they pull a soil sample. <laughs> yeah. Well, what typically that is, is a high pH. Right. Um, and what we'll recommend is sulfur to lower that pH. Sulfur, uh -huh. okay. And what that what happens is iron is only available at lower pHs around So it may be in the soil, but the plant can't get it. Exactly. Because the pH is because too high. Because of the pH. That's How exactly about that? that? So you say put elemental sulfur down mm -hmm. and water it in. Yep, water it in, mix it in real well. Mm -hmm. And remember. Now, what if you got big established plants, though, and you can't like dig the soil up because the roots? Yeah, I would probably recommend aluminum sulfate or something okay. like that. It doesn't have as much sulfur in it. We're still lowering the pH, but we're doing it gently. Okay, that's a little a, bit. That's at a, a time. softer way to do it than right. the elemental sulfur. Yeah, you don't want to shock the plant. Okay. Too great, but we're still accomplishing accomplishing the same thing it's just going to be a little slower okay and just remember anytime you're changing the pH up or down it takes time I have one uh, an, another question occurs to me is that a lot of people have irrigation systems that pull off a well mm -hmm. for example and that water is coming up through a limestone mm -hmm. <laughs> which obviously is uh, an alkaline substance mm -hmm. and so the water may be I know I've tested water around at uh, various places at 74 75 mm -hmm. over time what does that do to your soil irrigating with that water at that higher pH well generally speaking as soil matures right. over time as organic matter breaks down and as we fertilize it tends to acidify the soil right now, the only time where I've seen uh, 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 alkaline water cause any problems in, is in very intensive uh, uh, places where we irrigate a lot. Nurseries. Nurseries. Yeah, where I work. Or, or very <laughs> yeah. intensive areas. Yeah. And then we see those kind of problems. Yeah. Now, if you just water your lawn we once a week. We have to compensate. Yeah. yeah. I don't see that causing a yeah. big big problem because we have acidic rain and right. generally speaking that offsets. So that's not something people have to be concerned about. Generally speaking. Well folks, they, it's just important to do this. I mean, vegetable gardeners do tend to get their mm -hmm. soil tested more frequently because a lot of vegetable plants, like she was mentioning potatoes, uh, show signs of pH distress. but. No matter what you're growing, it's a good idea to know what it is you're growing in. What's mm -hmm. your what's your soil made up of, and and uh, how is it going to react, and wh what are you going to have success with, and what are you not, and are you willing to change it? I mean, right. if you love rhododendrons, you know you're going to make the make the effort. Yep. Well, this is fascinating stuff, and I know it's you know we don't think about uh, green thumbs as being a chemistry project, <laughs> but actually, it is. And for more information on how to get that soil sample taken and sent in, go to volunteergardener.org for all your information.